Uh, you know, we got beat by a better team today. Um, thought Duke was phenomenal. Be surprised if if they're not playing to, to win a national championship. Um, that's it. Questions? Hey, Scotty Bordelon with Whole Hog Sports. Uh, Eric, just from your perspective, what happened defensively during the 8-0 run to close the half and then the 10-0 run that, that kind of they put it at a 15-point game? Yeah, I mean, we didn't end the half very good at all, obviously, with uh, foul trouble. Um, Adis and, and Jay Will on the bench, two of our best defenders, if not our two best defenders. Um, so we didn't end the half very well at all, Scotty, and that, I thought that, you know, really, really hurt us. Um, we had the ball, you know, with an opportunity to, to either dribble a clock out or, or get a shot and potential five-point swing. Um, but having said that, I mean, do, I mean, we took three free throws in the first half, and that's like a, a post-up team never getting a post-up or a three-point shooting team never, never, never attempting a three-ball. Um, when we got to the line... We were we didn't miss. Um, that's our that's our game. I mean, we're we're one of the best in the country at at. at and I didn't think we settled tonight at all. Um, so they did a great job, I guess, on vers verticality. Question to the right. Hey, Coach JB, ninety-two on the ticket. Just a thought on on Jalen Williams' performance, if you would. I know right after the loss, it's tough, but stood in there against a, a really tough Duke front court and. Obviously, he's right next to you, but how about a thought on how Jalen played? Yeah, I thought Jalen played, you know, really well all season long. Um, obviously, you know, Mark Williams is, a, is, is tough to score over. Um, you know, we left some baskets at the rim, not just one guy, the whole team. We left, we left baskets at the, at the rim. But Jalen's been uh, incredible all year, both offensively, defensively. I mean, he took, you know, took some really difficult charges tonight when, when, when I thought we were playing really well early in the game. Um, and then obviously just, you know, the, if you want to speak about his importance when he's out of the game, you can see the importance. And, um, you know, when he was in, we were, we were plus three. Um, and when Adis was in, we were plus one. And so, you know, tonight foul trouble hurt us um, in the first half. Over to the left. Hey guys, Curtis Wilkerson with Hog Sports. Trey, I, I know there's some finality for you in this moment. Only one year at Arkansas, but could you maybe put into words what this season has meant for you personally, and then maybe JD and Jalen, if, if you could just talk about the impact Trey has made in his time here. Uh, yeah, just um, you know, coming here, being able to compete at a high level, and being able to have my game grow has been big for me. Um, being around these guys and learning from Coach and the rest of my teammates, and just competing, man. It's just, I think my game has grown a lot, and, you know, I'm thankful for all these guys. Yeah, Trey, he just been amazing. Just he ain't had a perfect role that he probably wanted, but he just stepped in and played when he wanted, and he just been Trey Wade. Yeah, kind of what J.D. just said. Uh, Trey's been a great teammate all year, on and off the court. He's He keeps the team connected. He's close with everybody. Um, he talks, he defends, he he plays his role. He's been a great teammate all year. And and I don't know if we, we get to where we are without Trey Wade. So he's just been a great teammate, brother, all year. Bob up front. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, Bob Holt, Arkansas Democrat. Is that misses for Jalen and JD, kind of a two-parter. You guys have held so many teams under 40%, and then Duke hit almost 55. What do you think was the difference with their offense and then, you know, to get here to the Elite Eight, second year in a row, but have, have a tough ending, I guess, how, how tough is that? Uh, it was very tough, you know, just to get back here. It was a journey. Uh, we came up short, but it's been a great season just playing with these dudes, man, and I just can't be thankful enough. Yeah, of course, uh, we all wanted to get further than this, but the fight that this team has showed all year has, has been incredible. Like for the way that we started off conference, nobody would have expected us to get this far. So I just think that this team just kept fighting the whole year, the whole year. But of course, we didn't get where we wanted. But I'm proud of what we did. Start, 
they were just a better team than us tonight. Over to the left. Um, Jalen and then Coach Musselman, if it's okay. Um, I know it might not technically be over yet, but just how would you kind of encapsulate JD's career at Arkansas? Uh, playing with JD has been great. Uh, he's a great teammate on and off the court. He's a leader on the court, leader off the court. Um, he does so much for this team. He creates for himself, creates for everybody else. He defends, he, he leads, he does everything. He keeps everybody connected. Um, it's just been, it's been great playing with him. He's a great guy. Yeah, I mean, JD's had incredible two seasons. Um, yeah, his growth in his game has been remarkable um, on both sides of the basketball. Um, you know, he and I are connected on, uh, you know, I, I don't have to say words sometimes to him. He, he kind of reads my mind. Um, but he's had two really phenomenal years, and he had a phenomenal sit-out year, too. Um, you know, he has a personality where everybody on the team uh, likes him, and when you have a, a leading scorer uh, and everybody likes you, it, it, it talks about his personality and, and how connected he is to the guys. Question to the left. Uh, Adam Spencer, SDS. Um, Eric, you've made it to back-to-back -back Elite Eights. Just what will you remember about this year's team compared to last year's team and uh, how special it was? Yeah, I mean, both years have been, have been phenomenal. Obviously, this year not being... Um, you know, in a bubble, I think that the players got to experience much more. Um, you know, I think that, I mean, obviously Duke had a phenomenal crowd. I mean, it was cl close to a home game for them with, with the amount of people that were here. Um, you know, but having said that, uh, we'd much rather perform and play in front of the crowds that we've had sellouts th throughout the tournament. Um, the spotlight felt a lot bigger for these guys this year. Um, and we'll see, only time will tell. I mean, last year we lost to Baylor, and they were national champions. And like I said, I'll be shocked if, if Duke is not uh, national champions a week, in a week or week and a half, whatever. Back to Scott on the right. Hey, for, for J.D. and Jalen, um, were there some frustrations for you guys tonight when you put the ball on the floor for dribble drives, just maybe not drawing some of the whistles maybe you guys had gotten accustomed to? You know, you got kind of gotten some of those whistles all year long. Uh, when you play a team like Duke, you can't expect to get those calls. Um, it was tough, you know. You just got to go in there and finish. Yeah, what well, J.D. said, we just got to go in there and finish. Through, through the contact, whatever happened, we just we had to finish those. Bob in the middle. And I, I know it must still be pretty raw, but, you know, t to think where you guys came from early January, it, it maybe all you guys could touch on this, just, you know, how proud are you or how – you know, just how, how great do you think you guys ended up doing? I know you didn't reach your ultimate goal, but, you know, a lot of teams start off on three in the league and they're probably in the tank, and you guys really responded. Yeah, we fought all season. That just been us all season. Just keep fighting, keep fighting, never give up. And that's what we did this whole season. Just kept fighting and just had each other back. So I'm very proud of this team. Yeah. Um we started off pretty slow, but, you know, we just, like you said, we just kept pushing, kept keep our, keeping our heads up, and, you know, we fought back and put ourselves in a position to compete at a high level. So, like you said, I'm proud of my, my team also. They got it. Any other questions? Back to Bob. Um, Eric, you guys, and Jalen had, it seemed like he had like three three-point plays or something. But he had a three-point play to cut it to five, I think it was, 53-48, they call timeout, they go on a 10-0 run. What, what do you think was happening with, with there? And I guess that's kind of where they sort of got, got control, control of the game. Yeah, they ran a wedge play, uh, a little uh, mid-post up screen for number five. And he, uh, <laughs> he converted or got fouled. Um, and we'd go down the other end and, and didn't convert. And uh, hence the 10-0 run. Another question on the right. You guys are classy. Last one real quick. Just a thought for the Hog fans back home. Maybe J.D. on down. Just what did it mean this year to get Razorback basketball back in the spotlight, like Coach said, in such a big way? Uh, it was tremendous. Um, just the experience of me not being from Arkansas, like I could say is one of the best places I've ever been. And it just I can't take that back. Like I come here every, every time. Yeah. Uh, 
just the fans have been great, man. It's a it's a fan base that I've never experienced before. The games, um, the community, they embraced us. So you know, I, you know, I got a lot of love for Arkansas. Yeah, for sure. Being a hometown kid, uh, the fans showing out how they were every home game, sold out arenas, the love that they gave us throughout the season has been amazing. Um, it's just been great. Thank you for everything they did for us. Yeah, I mean, the, the crowd was, the entire year was incredible. And, um, you know, I think the, the group last year that made an Elite Eight uh, created a lot of excitement in the off season, And I know that, that this group of guys has created a lot of excitement for us going into next season as well. So, um, you know, the enthusiasm for, for Arkansas basketball, um, you know, we we hope that it'll be a little bit higher if that's even possible. We'll go with Bob for the final question. You know, Eric, I think when you took the job, people were just hoping to get start getting back to the NCAA tournament, you know. And now in two years, you've, you've raised the bar going to Elite Eights. And Jalen, I think, said the other day in Buffalo that that's kind of the standard now. Just how do you feel about where you've gotten the program to and then moving forward with it? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm – I mean, everybody works so hard. The players, you know, buy into everything. And, and um, we've had, you know, two really good years. And I thought even, you know, in year one, the guys played so hard, um, incredibly hard. And, uh, you know, we, we internally have high expectations, meaning in that locker room. And we will have high expectations all summer. Um, I, I'll, I'll, I'm start, as soon as we get out of here, I'm going to start working on next year. Um, that's a definite. Um, so yeah, the, the I guess the bar has been raised or whatever. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you.